Hey, good Saturday morning, y'all. Uh, it's 7 o'clock over here in North Carolina. Uh, 6 o'clock over there by you guys. I'm looking a little rough. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to, I really wanted to share with you guys um, something here this morning. I had a, a brother of mine contact me this morning. And, uh, you know, he fell off this week. He missed a mark this week. And, and now he's... he's Feeling a lot of condemnation, a lot of guilt, uh, you know, and, and, and the thing is, I know this brother loves God, man. I know this brother is of the Lord and loves the Lord, and it, 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 you know, when he told me what had happened this week, man, it, it hit home with me, man, because I feel like me and him are the same person, you know what I mean? Like, we love God with all our heart, but we continue to miss the mark we continue to fall um the thing is though that don't make god love us no less you know what i mean and 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 i guess the reason why i'm, I'm sharing this video with y'all this morning because it made me think while i was praying for him this morning how many more of y'all are out there like us you know what i mean we me personally i can't say we because I, I can't really speak for this brother but me personally I like hold myself to a, to a higher standard, you know what I'm saying? Some of the things that, that, that I say I missed the mark on or, or I fell off on are some things that, that, that a lot of people wouldn't even think they're doing something wrong, you know what I mean? But I know in my heart what God wants me doing, you know what I mean? Like I know what God has brought me through. Like I hold myself to a higher standard. Um, so when I fall, I hold myself to that much more condemnation, um, that much more guilt you know what i mean because because i feel like how can everything god done did for me how can i just not not do this you know what i mean if that if that makes sense like i i hold myself to such a higher standard sometimes that you know i i i'm i'm wrong to be honest with you you know what i mean like i i, I condemn myself and then i live in this condemnation and it, it used to be and, and and thank god that it hasn't been recently but it used to be that <clears throat> Once I, I fell just even a little bit, then that was it. I was heading down that hill. Oh, I already did this. I might as well do this type thing. You know what I mean? Um, and it shouldn't be that way. God loves us. Uh, we ain't never gonna. We ain't never gonna be perfect till we leave this earth, man. We ain't never gonna be perfect. We're going to fall. We're, we're going to do things um, that we don't want to do. You know, Romans seven, Paul talks about that, man. The things I want to do. I don't do the things I don't want to do, I do. You know what I mean? It's, it's human nature. It's our flesh, man. It's a, it's a battle. That's why the, the Bible says to die to ourselves daily. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's a battle. Every single day, we got to battle this flesh. It's a battle in our mind, the spirit in the flesh, man. And we just got to feed our spirit more, <clears throat> and that's going to be what wins. Um, I was reading here this morning in, 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 in my Bible here, uh... Uh, and it was the story on how uh, it was it was the lady who came, committed adultery and 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 the, the scribes and Pharisees brought her to Jesus told her what he had did what she had did um, you know and said that Moses commanded us that we should stone her and Jesus said well whichever one y'all ain't without sin then throw the first stone but then later on he tells her, he says, uh, woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, no one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Jesus don't condemn us. God don't condemn us. God loves us. God knows that we are fallible. God knows what we go through. Jesus knows what we go through because he's been through it all, y'all. Um, so, anyways... I know this is kind of a long video right here, um, but I just I just want to encourage anyone that's going through some of this condemnation out there that you know you love God, but you keep missing that mark, man. It, you ain't alone. You know what I mean? You hit, reach out to me. You know, when that brother reached out to me this morning, it, it, it just made me not feel alone. You know what I mean? It made me feel like I'm not the only person that goes through this which I'm not, and I and it just made me, like I said, it made me think how many more people out there are going through this same thing, but they ain't sharing their struggle because they don't want to be convicted, they don't want to be called a hypocrite, you know what I mean, all that bull crap, 
I know this brother loves God. I know this brother loves God. I don't care what he done did. I know that he loves God. Um, so, that, that I mean, that's just it, man. If y'all feeling condemned about anything, man, turn to God. Uh, reach out to me. Let me help y'all. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Have a good Saturday.